Hey guys, how's it going? Do you like my black gloves? <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for joining me tonight. It is swipe night. Um, so I'm going to start off and tonight I'm using my primary elements from color art. Um, I am experimenting yet once again. Um, so if you haven't heard of these primary elements by color art, where have you been? <laughs> um, but so I have a ton of colors, as you can see, which I have gone and put, um, the colors on the tops, um, just so that I know what color they are, because not everything is as it appears. For example, um, let me show you this one. This is one of the colors I'm using tonight, Majestic Blue. It looks like this, but when you actually mix it, it's a lighter, more shimmery blue. That's a bad example. Let me find a different, ah, here's a good example. So this one is Snapdragon. See that purple? But when you actually mix it with your Vivid Enamel or your Polypore, it's actually a really deep purple. So I've gone ahead and put paint on the tops of all my colors. That way, you know, I know what the color looks like. Here's another example. This one is Peacock Feather. So you see that color? This is what the actual color is. You see the difference there, guys? Here you go. So Peacock Feather, but that's what it actually looks like. So if you do have these, I, may I suggest that you put the colors on top and that way you know what they actually really look like. So if you have not bought any of these, okay, they are sold in the US and I know shipping is expensive if you're in Australia or maybe even Canada, um, but to help with that, if you do purchase anything off the color art website, um, you can save 20% using code CANELA120. I will link it in the description below. I'll put the website as well, as long as with the code. Um, and then that way, if you do buy anything off the website, you can get a discount. All right, so I'm gonna put these back. I have so many things I still need to play with um, that Leslie from Color Art has sent me. And I'm just, life is so darn busy. I'm still wanting to use the moon rocks she sent me, but I have just need to find, find the time. All right. All right. So in the meantime, I am going, this is a 12 by 12 canvas and I have my house paint. So for those of you in Canada, this is what I use. Um, this is the recipe for the bloom. So the Shelly art blooms. Okay, guys. Um, just house paint, but you know, you don't need to know the bloom technique in order to do a swipe, right? All you need is just some house paint, right? Any kind of house paint. If you are in the US um, and you want to know what kind of house paint works good for you in the US, um, check out Tammy Anderson. She's got lots and lots and lots of videos on the bloom technique. And she also lets you know what products are best used and can be found um, in the US. So, you know, that would be, where's my spatula? Ah, here we go. No, no popsicle stick here, spatulas only. Um, so yeah, if uh, you wanna know what kind of US ingredients will work for you, um, you can check out Tammy Anderson. Whoops, almost knocked those over there. Um, so I'm just spreading this around with my lovely spatula, which works, which works fabulous. And you can find that on my Amazon shop. All right, so I will put this aside. And you know what? I am going to just get my sides because I am likely... I don't know if I'm gonna tilt this or not yet. I haven't decided that just yet. It'll all really depend on how this thing um, turns out. So, but I want to at least get my edges um, covered. That way, 
if I do decide to tilt it, um, it'll be easier for the paint to flow over the edges if they are covered. All right. Now, a lot of people who have seen some of my other swipes say, hey, why didn't you torch it? Um, I don't particularly like torching house paint. Um, it does tend to burn um, really quickly and quicker than like your acrylic paint, like your tube paints. Um, but you could, if you really, really wanted to, you could. So let me grab my torch because there's a bunch of bubbles here. But it literally, like, I mean, you got to be careful because you can seriously scorch the paint. And I really don't want to do that. So anywho, colors I am using tonight. I have two two paints and then three are primary elements. So the first color I'm using is Green Blue by Amsterdam. My next color is the Deco Art. Um, 24 karat gold so that is there and then we have cranberry by primary elements cranberry so that is ah look what I did I touched it <laughs> so cranberry this is a really pretty color too super shimmery very very nice that's cranberry followed by Majestic Blue, so here is Majestic Blue, Primary Elements, and finally, one of my all-time favorite colors, Jasmine. See, it looks like a deep, rich um, pink, but it's actually, look at that, you see what I mean? You never know unless you put it on the top. So that's why. Put some colors on the top of your lids, guys, if you have primary elements. So there's the jasmine. All right. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Uh, let's start. Uh, I'm really liking these middle swipes, so I'm going to keep at it. And I'm going to just add some more here on the end. Life has been stupendously busy for me, guys. So much going on. So, so much going on. And one day I will talk about it. Um, but yeah, uh, weather... Oh, I got blue paint everywhere. Weather here is uh, getting cold again. And we're supposed to get like 10 centimeters of snow on the weekend. So that should be interesting. Let's see what else. Juno's loving it. He went to doggy daycare today and there was a new husky there. Um, so he had a ball with the other husky. Um, actually, they had so much fun that Juno got hurt. Um, they were just playing around, you know, dogs will be dogs. Um, but he did get... Uh, quite the scrape and cut under his poor little eye, um, but he will survive. <laughs> they didn't even notice it happened because clearly he didn't care. Um, but uh, yeah, he definitely has battle scars today from doggy daycare. Um, but he's a tough boy. So he is having a lot of fun with the uh, other husky. I don't know how old the other husky is, but he's a boy as well. Um, so it's nice to see him playing with uh, a pup of his breed. So doggy daycare is the best because he loves it there and he gets a lot of exercise while we're not home. So check his YouTube channel out and follow him there because there's all kinds of fun things going on with Juno. Okay, so I've laid down all the colors. I'm going to lay, uh, I'm gonna lay a thin line. Usually I do a really thick line. I'm gonna just try and do um, a thinner line and hope to goodness I can get this to work. 
really well. Okay, and now it is sinking, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to use my low-leave Effie scraper um, because I find it was easier for me than using that plastic thing. And let's swipe. <sighs> All right, missed a spot. Let's try again. I'm really liking, you know, this technique and practicing it. Oh, that one was good. I like that. That was good. And last one over here. Okay. So that is nice. Just not happy with this, but the cells here are really cool. Kind of don't want to mess that up. So there, I think that worked. Okay, so let's turn it around and see what I can get on this side. Now, my white has disappeared, so I don't know. Let's just try that. Let's give her a go. All right. That's cool, actually. I'm liking this. Very cool. Wow, colors are pretty. Okay, swipe portion is done. Now I tilt because I want to. <laughs> There's no right or wrong to doing a swipe. Like, I mean, I heard people, well, not I heard, but people were commenting on some of my previous swipes and say, oh, you're not supposed to swipe, um, tilt a swipe. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was a rule book on fluid art and acrylic pouring and painting and all that. So um, there really is no right or wrong, guys. So I want to tilt and I'm going to tilt. That is pretty. Oh, what a mess. I touched the paper towel here in the corner. Ah! Oh, well. Let's... Uh, Go down to the corner here, just like so, okay? And I'm going to uh, bring it back to the center. So it looks like I've lost my gold completely. And okay, I'm gonna bring it back and come and tilt. Where'd all my colors go? See, I need a lot of practice. This is my third ever swipe. Let's see. So I'm gonna tilt until I can get the paint moving over the edge here. I can see through the camera at least what's going on. All right. Okay, so I guess I didn't put enough cell activator on here. All right, let's uh, tilt her down and then tilt her back and see if I can. Yeah, there's definitely not enough cell activator there. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the center, hold on. I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna try something. I don't know what, but. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to try. Let's see here. Where's my paper towel? Oh, what a bummer. This is not cool. Not cool at all. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to try this again. I'm just going to literally do it again. Maybe I didn't just put enough color down. I am learning. 
as I go. Okay, so there's that. And let's try, I hope I have enough colors or enough paint left in my cups to do this again. Uh, trying to preserve this color because I'm going to use it in another swipe. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys how I mix these. Silly me. Um, I guess that would help, wouldn't it? So the primary elements are mixed with, hold on, let me finish this and then I'll tell you guys what they're mixed with. I can't believe I forgot to tell you that. That was really silly of me, wasn't it? Um, so I'll show you, but in the meantime, I'll tell you. They are mixed with um, three parts of the Vivid Enamel and one part of the Polycrylic. Um, the Vivid Enamel you get from the Color Art website. You cannot get it anywhere else. It is a product made by Leslie. So uh, Vivid Enamel, that is this stuff right here. So three parts Vivid Enamel to one part polycrylic okay so polycrylic clear gloss okay so that's what I mixed my primary elements with all right can you tell I'm like really concentrating here okay let's try this again real quick before my uh, white sinks again all right let's do this again all right oh i let go that's all right Okay, that's looking a little better. Let's do the other side. You know who's really, re oh shoot, what am I doing? You know who's really, really good at swipes and you should check out too? Um, Erica Hughes. She has nailed this technique, I'm telling you. She's really good at it. Check out Erica Hughes. Uh, I didn't get any white in that first swipe. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a little better. Uh... I really don't know what to do with this now. Do, 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 do. All right, let's uh, stretch her out. Let's see what happens. A little bit of tilting and stretching. Yeah, I just don't. No. All right, I'm going to tilt it back. I don't know if I like it. I don't know what... Uh... Can you guys see what I'm doing? There you go. I don't know. Just trying to get that bottom corner off, but in the process, I'm probably ruining the rest of the composition on this thing. Why? Because. <laughs> because I get frustrated with things, and when I get frustrated with things, I just start messing around. All right, 
I'm going to bring it back to the center. Let me just bring it back down. Like, I mean, I really like the colors. And there are some really cool cells going on. It's just my problem is I see everybody else's swipes, like Erica Hughes and Tammy Anderson's got some good ones and Julie Cutts. And, you know, I hear, I haven't seen, but I hear Jilly Cube also has really good ones. Um, you know, and I'm like, hey, why can't I do that? Well, guess what, guys? I'm not good at everything. I'm not. So, you know, life is all about practicing and learning. So, all right. Well, I don't know really what else to do with this. I'll bring you guys down for a close-up just so that you guys can see it. But uh, I really don't think I'm going to end up keeping this. I'll probably end up scraping it. So just so you know, um, let me bring you guys down for a close-up. And that way you can see it up close. One second. Okay, guys. Here it is up close. Um, like, I mean, there's some really cool cells happening. That's for sure. And the colors are really pretty and the color art pigments really make it shine i just don't know if the camera catches that but um yeah i don't think i'm gonna keep this um so if you like it and you want it, it probably won't be available <laughs> so anywho let me know what you guys think in the comments i know i know not my best work I should stick to Dutch pores, but no, no, no. I really wanted to try. I, I want to try new things. So anywho, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. Uh, don't forget, you could save 20% off. Use code Canela120 on the Color Art website and try these uh, primary elements out. So that's it for me. Take care. Have a good day. Have a good night. And say bye-bye to this because it's probably going to be the last time you see it. Okay, guys. Although this, now that's pretty. That's really nice. So, anywho, have a good night, guys. Have a good day. Ciao, ciao. Bye.